Hi, and welcome from M24 Solutions. My name is Brandon, and today we'll be going over the Bone Tool, one of Flash CS4 Professionals' new features. Here you can see I have the Flash interface already loaded. Basically what the Bone Tool is, is this item right over here, and it allows you to basically add a bone to any sort of animated character or structure you would normally have to do frame by frame or with these gradual tweens and kind of simplifies the process dramatically. Um, so what we're going to start by doing is drawing a simple figure. I'm going to call this guy Bobby. I think Bobby's a nice name. Bobby's a stick figure and he lives in Aruba. And he wears a size 10 shoe as you can see from the detail in the shoe there. I give him some little arms, maybe a little muscle right there. Okay, and here we have Bobby, big head Bobby. Okay, basically you're gonna take the bone tool over here and you'll be taking it simply to the character you select and you're gonna click and you'll drag. Now notice when I click and drag, it adds this guy right here. Um, basically what that is, each end of this guy is a joint this purple thing right here, each end of it is a joint. And wherever you click it, it's where the next joint is going to begin. So you'll drop it right there, and you'll click it, drag it again to another point where you want the next joint to be. In this case, we're going to kind of make it right here because that's going to be his shoulders. And from that circle right there, I'll drag it over to his elbows, up to his arms. Same thing I'm going to do over here. Drag it over, drag it up to his arms, and grab it from here drag it down to his pelvis area, to his right knee, or left, depending on how you look at it, and continue that process out right there. Now, once you've completed this, basically what this is doing is, this is actually acting as if it's bones. Flash intuitively writes all the programming for that, and when I grab the arrow tool, and I used to grab one of these points, now you can see it automatically is gonna move my arrows around right here. Now. There's a problem here, right? When I let go, you see it moved and adjust the picture for that. If I click outside, you can see how it adjusts it. Click back and I can gain back control of that. But see how his head's moving like that? You don't want that to happen. So they've actually thought that one out. What you can do is you can use right click here or left click and select the bind tool. And the bind tool basically is gonna take your animation or your drawing, it's gonna add all these nice little dots to it. If I click the bone that that's I'm speaking of right here, whatever bone you select, it's going to show highlight in yellow all the points connecting to that bone. All you need to do is hold down control and click a point to either associate it or disassociate with that bone. So we're just going to use that bind tool, hold down control and click that spot right there just so we can disassociate it with that bone. When we go back to our arrow tool, take the magnification down a little bit so we can see. When we go back to our arrow tool and we grab it now, as you can see while I'm moving the arm no longer is his head moving like that. So you can do like that. Now you got this guy you can animate however you choose to animate. Also I note when I do add bones to him, you'll notice it creates a new level, a new le a layer called armature. It takes all your animation and all your drawing from out that first layer and it adds it all to the armature layer. And if I didn't have this logo here, this layer, layer one, would be empty altogether. Next thing I want to do though, real quick, while I still have time, is I want to add a, um, some frames here by selecting frame 35 and hitting F5. And what I can do is I can select any point within the timeline and I can move an arm and automatically he'll move for that pose. And it's going to create all the necessary tweening and everything and add that keyframe key right there. So I can go ahead and do this throughout the animation here. And he'll continue to, um, the computer will continue to update that and add keyframes as it sees fit. So you can continue to go throughout this, do whatever sort of funky animation you want to do. You can even rotate it at specific points like this. One second any point you want to rotate at basically it's going to create that um, something you want to note right here if I click outside of this if you want you can you can copy this keyframe this pose by right clicking on it and selecting copy pose now you got to make sure when you do it 
first you click outside of the keyframe because when you click out into it automatically it's going to highlight it and if you try right clicking copy pose will be grayed out so you want to click outside that so it's green click and then right click that keyframe and then select copy pose then go to the frame you want it to and select paste pose and now we'll have an effective loop as you can see when I go to um, control and test movie Now that was real simple how we just added those bones in there and we did that had that basic animation. A few other things I want to show you real quick. If you click the armature layer first, make sure you click the armature layer and then select the property inspector. You'll notice that you can change the type of lines from wire to solid and to line. And that's just different ways of looking at it. Also one other thing you want to note, if I was to take all these frames out of here all together, It's like remove um one moment. Let's see if it's gonna let me do this. And I go over here and I select uh let me see. Well here we just start over real quick. Just remove all these frames. Okay, we got a guy, I'm gonna throw some bones in there real quick for us, real quick, so I can show you one other feature that game developers will particularly like. I'm just gonna add one simple bone structure real quick so I can show you this. Okay, if I select the armature layer now, and I go into the properties, I can change the type from auto from author time to runtime. And doing that, what it's gonna do is when I test my movie here, Now in the actual animation that you'll have or the actual um, flash file that you have once it's done, if um, my computer would temporarily quit acting retarded for me, you can see that um, when I moved it, it, it's now an alter time basically. And as we said earlier, to get rid of that distortion, you can just go into your flash file with the bind tool. You'll just want to dis disassociate those points down there as you can see, they've all been associated by accident with that point. So just control and click and disassociate those points. Well, that was a basic quick tutorial of how Flash's new bone and bind tool works. If you have any questions, feel free to um, send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.